So um, this is Vincent Meza, and this is our Get Started class for listings to leads. And, you know, just at a high level, I'll tell you, we have tools for agents with listings, and we have tools for agents without listings. And whether you want more buyers or more sellers, we've got tools for you on, on for, for all that. So we've been working on a little presentation. I'm gonna kind of buzz through that really quickly. It's a little PowerPoint deal. But I think it, you know, we're, we're, we wanna see if this sort of helps you understand more easily what we have. So, you know, we're, we're a marketing platform, great for branding. Um, you know, one of the things, one of the questions that comes in our mastermind group, I'm going to show you our mastermind group, is who here gets two listings or more per month strictly from listings to leads, right? That's a decent question. And one of our clients, well, a bunch of clients jumped in, but one of our clients said, hey, we get two listings every time we market a listing, right? And we're going to try to get that to above three this year. And she says, well, what's the one thing? And he says, do everything on the checklist. I'm gonna show you that checklist. Um, if we keep going, let's see here. I'm not quite sure what this is. Where will we generate seller leads from? Social media, your farm, your database and sphere of influence and open house marketing and the seller's sphere of influence, okay? So these are the ways that we actually get seller leads and um, we also get buyer leads this way as well. How will you generate uh, listings? Listings, PDF reports, and landing pages. Um, and then here's a pillar of social media. I don't quite understand this, but we have one-click Facebook ads. And right here are some uh, versions of the Facebook ads that we create. A Facebook ad, just so you know, in our system takes right now, it takes about 10 seconds to create. I'm gonna show you that in a few minutes. But our leads are coming back with phone numbers. So you definitely want to, if you're going to be in real estate, you want to run your ads inside of our platform. That's all I can tell you. That's a bare minimum. Do not log into Facebook anymore and run ads. It's super complicated. You can waste your time and money. In our system, it's 10 seconds and your leads come with phone numbers. And I'll tell you this because you know we get a lot of feedback. I'm hearing that 75% of those phone numbers are good. That's what I've been hearing in the past few weeks. Uh, and our clients are generating dozens of leads. Like this guy here, Calvin, I'm not going to play the video. He generated 490 leads in 26 days, right? Um, he did that because he spent a lot of money. He has multiple listings. He's got a lot of ads running. And in 26 days of October, generates 490 leads with phone numbers. He's site. Um, here are some ways of, you know, that we also, in our normal advertising, we're asking home seller information, even when properties are sold, right? Or, or are for sale, we're still asking, do you own a home? We've got 25 branded PDF reports for sellers. They're all branded to you, your picture, your contact information, information on every page. Um, we've got, by the way, and I don't know if we're gonna say this later, but we've got 25 branded PDF reports for buyers too. So if you want buyers, you know, we've got you covered there too. Um, there's unlimited landing pages. I'll show you where to create those later. Um, and then this is the ad manager. We'll, we'll show you this. That's I'm not quite sure why we're looking at that. Um, bonus follow up Facebook ads, follow up. Yeah. And so this is really awesome. If you don't know what retargeting is, make sure you turn on retargeting. I will show you. I, I don't know if I can dive into it in depth today because we're going to cover a lot. But retargeting is one of, it's actually way powerful on Facebook. And we have made it automatic by just clicking and accepting a few things. So I'll try to touch on retargeting when we get into the Facebook section, but you absolutely want to use it if you want to convert leads, right? We, we're awesome at capturing leads. Uh, I'm going to show you a lot of tools that capture leads, but converting is actually when you start getting paid, right? So if you want to convert leads, turn on our retargeting. And if you don't understand how to turn on retargeting, talk to our support team and get your retargeting turned on. Now, right here, what we're saying, and this is something if you don't have a big Facebook ad strategy and you don't understand Facebook, number one, run ads in Facebook and Instagram in our system in 10 seconds. Number two, you should be running two to four ads a week 
and you should be spending, you know, I would say twenty to fifty dollars each, right? It says thirty-five, but you can you can run a four-day ad for twenty bucks if you want. Um, all kinds of ads. I'll show you the kinds of ads you can run. Um, and then pillar two, your farm. Like this guy here is in the mastermind group. I'm going to show you this post in the mastermind group. This guy just moved to San Antonio, Texas. He has a wife and kids. They wanted to move to where his wife's family is. So he had no name recognition and starts using one of our top tools for getting listings and pulls five leads, five listings in three months in a place where nobody knows who he is. So it's a great tool. I'm definitely going to show you that. Um, that I had the most success with. Yeah, yeah, this is, uh, I can't remember her name, but she's using the exact same tool. I don't want to spend all day here. We actually got to look at this. We've got letters, postcards, and door hangers, all designed to market homes and help you get listings. Um, our print marketing is awesome. The nearby homeowner letter, which I was mentioning, the, the little video of the lady, and also the, vid, the guy I was showing you, Chris Winstead. This is the letter. These are the kinds of letters that they're using to market their homes. And when you market a home, it says, hey, we're selling a home. By the way, that's gonna affect your home value. So if you're door knocking or you're mailing into a neighborhood and telling people you are selling a home and that they can get their free home value, you, you know, you're not gonna get 100 leads. You're gonna get a half dozen or a dozen leads, right? But those are people who are physically taking a piece of paper to their own computer and going and looking for answers. These are high quality leads. Here's somebody else saying, yeah, I did one mailing, I got two listings. Awesome, great. Database, uh, we've got PDF reports for the entire year. Uh, I'll show those. We'll show you where th those are uh, in just a bit. We've got things for your email. Um, so if you've got a big CRM and you've got you know, hundreds or thousands of leads, you should be using our tools once a week on there and just sort of blast out our email because it's gonna capture buyers and sellers. Um, we've got an awesome open house marketing system. I know open houses are a little bit tricky with COVID, but if you're out there doing that, definitely put your open house in this system. As you can see this lady, Kathleen, talking, she got 82 leads, 10 texts to sell, and 60 people in an open house in seven days of work, right? Multiple offers. She's psyched. Just use the tools. That's all I can tell you. Um, and then we have tools. This is a really important um, because we create tools for e-flyers and for your seller social media, all right? So what I've been talking about are things for you and your social media and your, your CR. But we also create tools for your homeowners so that they can share. And that sometimes is very new to most realtors. And also the instructions on it are a little bit wonky. So our clients often don't use it, but they get really high quality leads essentially referrals because they're coming from their clients, friends, and family on Facebook. Um, we got tools for FISBOs. Uh, we've got training. We're doing, you're doing a live training now. We've got a mastermind group. We've got a YouTube channel. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. We've got agent accounts, office accounts. We even have managed services. If this stuff just kind of blows you away and you don't want to do it, we, we have a plan where we'll charge you 400 a month and we'll manage almost everything for you and get everything out there. So that's our little presentation. Um, I asked a question before we started, like, where are you guys from? And uh, if you haven't uh, answered, I'd appreciate it because I saw a lot of new names here. Um, so, oh, 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 uh, Jeff, you're with Costello. That's great. Uh, they've been a client for a while. David is from Houston. Three days, heard from other realtors. Awesome. This is a really powerful platform. Um, and there's a lot to it. And, and I think that works kind of against us, right? Because then you got to learn so much. But really, we built it to, to really speak to all the parts of your business. If you have listings, if you don't have listings, right? If you got to send an email, if you need a virtual tour, if you want something on social media, uh, if you got to blast something on your on your CRM and your database, that's a lot of different platforms. So you can imagine your head could be spinning real quickly. So the point of this class is to show you what's where, right? And one thing that I always like to point out is that if you're new to us, we have a mastermind group, right? It looks like this. 
and you can't actually find it unless you're in it. So if you're in it, if you're not in the mastermind group, go into your account and go to the support page. It's right down here on the left, all right? And just say, hey, please put me in the mastermind group. Now, I was helping this guy, G earlier today. So we're going to look at his account. I'm going to show you how to kind of set up your account, right? Um, Jensen from Minneapolis. Um, yeah, Jen, uh, you can email me if you want to know more about managed services. I'll try to, I'll try to finish on it. But right now, we got to get into the system, right? So there are a couple of tabs that I definitely want you to have your mind wrapped around. The listings tab. This guy had one listing. He wants to sell this house. So we pulled it in. This this guy signed up like 45 minutes ago. And so I walked him through like, okay, this is what you got to do to, to kind of get going. First, and for all of you, you should do this too. Go to your profile. And on your profile, you know, you can have your time. This data feed participant ID is how we can auto sweep listings in. So if you have listings and they're not automatically coming in, just go to the support page and say, hey, I have active listings. Can you help me sweep them in? And they'll connect that for you. Um, on preferences, I clicked a button here that says show Zillow reviews. This guy actually has reviews on Zillow, okay? And he also has his own website. So we went over to the lead link section and we created a link for Rockville Homes for Sale. That's his core market, right? And so Rockville Homes for Sale, points to his website. And then we put another link there, search all homes for sale, which is his website, and then free home values, right? And that's a landing page that we created for him to, to help him get listings. So those are some of the things that you wanna do. You wanna set up your lead links. You wanna go to your profile. And I mentioned that on preferences, he had Zillow reviews. So we turn those on. And if we go to the lead gen signature, this is something that's designed for you here. Um, this is a signature that you can embed. You notice it says copy for Gmail or copy for email. So notice you can embed this in your email and it says, get your free home value now. So what's that? Well, you click on that and this is going to his home valuation landing page that's embedded in his email, right? Um, it also says, Go back to lead gen signature, Rockville Homes for Sale, right? Because that's his core market. What happens when you click that? It drives right to his website, right? So what happens when you click click for my reviews? It opens up a review website with all of his Zillow reviews, right? It's also got all of his listings. And here's his listing over here. So let's click on his listing. And you can see that this is a single property website. He had a, a video from Vimeo. You could also paste in YouTube and this will just be there and it'll replace our static, you know, our static images, right? So if you got a professional video and you want people to see it, you just paste it right in. You'll notice that a lead capture pops up like this and people can click continue as Facebook which means you're going to get their name and email right up instantly. And then they can continue looking at the property. Now I'm going to refresh this and I'm going to point out, I showed you in the presentation that when we look down this page, we're going to ask, Hey, do you want your free home value? Right? You keep going. You can download some PDF reports. Here are his Zillow reviews on a single property website. So you can find out more about it. There's a big footer about what your home works right? Even when this page pops up, it's going to ask, do you own a home, right? We do this because we know that there are a lot of people looking at homes for sale who actually own a home and they're just researching the market and they don't want to talk to you, right? Uh, I don't, I'm not trying to hurt your feelings, but you're kind of a salesperson and you know that if somebody wants to sell their home, they're going to do some research for a few weeks or a few months. So if you're using our tools, we're going to help you find those people that are looking, but at, but actually are owners, right? So this is a home that's for sale. So he pulled this listing in like 45 minutes ago. He pasted it in. He went over to, um, let's go to listings. He went over to edit. 
he clicked on video and 3D tour and he embedded that Vimeo code right there so that now it's embedded on his single property website and his virtual tour, right? Now, he also went over here and created an app, right? And you can see he's got an ad here for 35 bucks. It just went live like probably 10 minutes ago, so it hasn't captured any leads yet. But if he didn't have an ad, it would be right here looking like this. And all you need to do to create an ad for a property is click create an ad. Now there's some setup buttons. You have to like connect to Facebook first, and then you got to accept the, the lead form terms of service. But once you've accepted and turned everything on, and it took him about five minutes, like every time he tried to do something, it, it was like, oh, it's not doing it. And then he was like, oh, I got to click here. But once you can do this, what, once you've got everything turned on, it'll take you about five seconds because you click on Facebook ads, it pre-populates a city and you click create app. Now, the only thing he wanted to do is he clicked advanced options and he went down here and he said, hey, this is a contemporary home. And I think he said uh, he wanted to put something else in there. So he wrote something down. So if you want to customize this language up here before people see it, you can customize it down here. I see a question. Feel free to ask your questions. Isn't it better to have a phone number along with an email? Julie, look, that's a great question. It totally is. When you run an ad like this on Facebook, we're getting phone numbers, okay? When you run an ad, we're getting phone numbers. When you require a phone number on this page and you make somebody type in their phone number, you're going to get close to zero leads, okay? When you do it from a Facebook ad, like this guy's page here, this ad, the phone number is pre-populated because everybody who has a Facebook account has their name, email, and phone number in there. So if you want phone numbers, run the ad in the system on this page right here. Otherwise, if you're just sharing this stuff out and you require a phone number here and somebody's got to type it in, they will leave this page before they give you their phone number. Does that make sense to you? Do you understand what I'm saying? You can even require it on this page. You can actually go to your settings on your profile and say, I want to require a phone number on all my tools and you'll just shoot your lead gen in the foot. All right, if you want phone numbers, I recommend Facebook ads. Where is there? I don't understand that question. Um, in this form, you can actually require a phone number. I would not do it inside of our system. It's on the profile um, because you'll get, you know, sometimes 99% fewer leads. And you might think like, oh, well, I don't want to talk to somebody if they don't have a phone number. Um, that form is on our single property website, right? So what I'm trying to tell you is this is how you create an ad under Facebook ads, under market listing, and this will come in with phone numbers. We've got other tools like a single property website and a virtual tour that have their own forms. And if you require phone numbers on there, you're not gonna get any leads, okay? That's, that's what it's like. So, since we're on the listing side still, we did a Facebook ad. We also have social media posts. So when you when you sign in the first time, there's a get started wizard. And on that um, on the get started wizard, import your listings here, set up auto posting here, and somewhere. Import your listings, create a listing. Uh, there should be a, a, the ability, we need to clean this up. You should be able to connect your Facebook. So I wanna make sure you turn on social media auto posting. And when you come to ads, the first thing you're gonna need to do, it won't look like this, the ads page. You're gonna have to connect your Facebook account. And his is connected and you can see he's got an ad there, right? And so, um, I'm, and so Julie, so Facebook is best. Yes, if you want phone numbers, you create an ad just like this. Go right here, create a listing ad, create a landing page ad, or a PDF report ad. Our default settings get phone numbers. If you want phone numbers, do that. Um, so, but let's go back to the listings because what I wanted to show you is we already talked about creating an ad, but what about just automated 
um, social media post. A post is different from an app. This is a social media post, and you can see it was auto posted. So what does that mean? When you get your listing in here, and let me answer that question for Julie, you can borrow listings and they will look just like this in your system. You can run ads, you can use all the tools. Of course, you need permission and you do that on the listings page and you grab a listing and you pull it in. So once we create it, we're, once, the, once you pull the listing in, we're get, this is one of the number one tools for capturing buyers, right? We email it to you. You can open the email and you can click this Facebook button over here and you can go over there and type something smart about it and you can push it to your business page and all that stuff, right? Or you can do what Promji did is he turned on social media auto posting. So now when you click this button, you can see that we auto posted this listing. This happened automatically for him, okay? So he didn't have to type anything. He just connected it. This looks great. It's got some emojis, it's got some hashtags. What happens when you click on this? Well, it takes us to the landing page that captures the lead and delivers it to Prop G, okay? So definitely, I recommend social media auto posting. You won't capture as many leads, but you get your stuff automatically on, on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. So you set that up on your profile over here. And there's a section here that says auto posting connect to Facebook, connect to Twitter, connect to LinkedIn, and then go over here and click this green copy button and that will put this text here in this box here and click save, right? And that will be it, that will just, that's all you need to do and that's why that, that auto post is sitting over there, right? So that's those two things you should do. You should do a Facebook ad, you should do Facebook, you should do social media auto posting. Then we've got this other tool, it's the sell, it, we email this to you automatically. Take the time to read this. This is a really important tool if you want referrals from your clients and if you want more listings from your clients, friends, and family, right? So let me go over here to my page. Now we email this tool to you, right? You do, you gotta open it and email it, but let me just show you what, you, you send them the part that I'm copying. Let's see here, one second. One second. Yeah, man, I need to clear my, my cache here. There's something wrong. This should be pulling up a photograph of the home, right? And for some reason, it's not. And that's really kind of lame. Uh, mm, I, can, I need to clear out my browser. It must be super, but let me just post it and we'll, we'll talk about it for a second. Normally, it's gonna push in the photograph, but I need to clear out my browser or something, but it says, hey, our home is just listed and Prodjit at NAM Real Estate created this and many other tools, right? There would be a big picture here. Um, and then if somebody clicked on that picture, it would take them to this page and this has his virtual tour and all of his links to his stuff. You know, it's all lead capture for Prodjit. Now, what's important about this is not necessarily all the lead capture, it's that his client is telling all of his friends and family and colleagues on Facebook that he is their realtor, right? You want to use that with your homeowners. That is my point. We create it automatically and we deliver it via email to you automatically. We just open it and read it and forward it and copy it and, and just give to him and call your client for five seconds. Jen, you get a landing page with LL. I just showed you a landing page. Did you not see that? This is a listing landing page. You get unlimited landing pages, okay? Uh, I'll show you the landing page section in a moment, but this is just one of them, all right? Uh, if we refresh here and we click on free home values on the single property website, you also get this landing page, which is a free home valuation landing page. There are other landing pages that you get. You get unlimited landing pages, so the answer is yes, you get a landing page, okay? Now we got an e-flyer for the seller. Uh, it works kind of like the social media post for the seller, but it's for email, right? Captures leads, captures buyers and seller leads. But this tool right here, the nearby homeowner letter, is the tool that I absolutely want you all to know about. This is the number one tool if you want listing leads that turn into listing contracts, okay? Now, I'm going to be talking about tools that capture listing leads, 
But let me repeat, if you want the lead to turn into a listing contract, this is the number one tool, all right? It's a print letter. It looks pretty simple, right? Hey, we've got a home, it's just listed. Take this physical piece of paper to your own computer and type that in and go find out about it, right? But then it also says when this home is sold, that's gonna affect your home value. So if you want to find that out, go here and find that out. Now let's go back to the mastermind group and let's do this search here. Search here for Chris. I mentioned Chris, if you were here earlier on um, in that little presentation, that PowerPoint thing. Chris is the guy who I said, he's a realtor who moved to San Antonio, didn't know anybody. Uh, he makes this cool video and actually the video is very cool, but he moves into a town that he does not know, but he wants to become the realtor there. So he starts using that letter and sends it out. It's right down here. Go look at Chris Winstead and read this. He sends out that letter every two weeks to people who own their homes for five years or more. This letter, okay. He was borrowing listings from his office and getting this letter and mailing it out to people who own their homes for five years or more. Once they opted in on the home value page, once they took that physical piece of paper and typed this in and put in their information, well, then he took that information and every week he would constantly contact them with phone calls, bomb bomb, letters via mail, and letters left at the door. That's how he got five listings in three months in a town that he nobody knows who he is. So I could keep going down this path, Dustin Fox, Alicia Pless, you can just search with that button right there and you're gonna find other agents saying, this is like our number one tool, right? So uh, if they want more listings and, and, and it is for many of our clients. So I recommend that you use that even if you're borrowing a listing. I know Julie, you asked, let's say you're doing an open house for somebody or let's say you want, you want a listing, you want listings in a particular neighborhood but you don't actually have any listings in that right? You could go borrow one in that neighborhood. You'll have a tool just like this. You can mail it out. You can door knock it and you can say, hey, we're selling a home here and go get your free home value there. And that will be a, a great tool for you, right? So that's the listing side. Any letter on just closed? Julie, that's a great question. This home that you're looking at is just listed. You can update your status to under contract, pending, or sold and that letter is going to reflect that. Our clients love to use it just listed, some like to use it open house, some like to use it just sold, right? And it, honestly, it doesn't matter. Some of our clients use it um, like just listed and just sold or open house and just sold. It's a powerful tool. You can use it multiple times. And we actually recommend that, that you're, mar you're marketing your homes multiple times. I think traditionally an agent puts a listing in an MLS and waits for people to bring buyers. If that's what you're doing and that's your MO for business, you don't need us. If you wanna grow your business and get a lot of buyers and a lot of sellers, market your home multiple times at different statuses with the tools I've just shown you, you're gonna get more buyers and sellers. So back on the marketing listing section, there's a virtual tour, there's a single property website, we auto upload your virtual tour to YouTube. If you go connect your YouTube channel, if you have Gmail, that means you have your own YouTube channel. Go connect it, go brand it, put your logo, your picture up there, whatever. Then you can say, hey, I take, get virtual tours and put them up on YouTube for you, right? I think it's like number one, number two website in the, in the country. So it's smart to do that kind of stuff, right? There's blog stuff, there's Craigslist stuff. That's the listing side. We mentioned landing pages. Somebody asked if you get landing pages, and I, of course, said, yes, you do. Um, these are the three that you get automatically, a free home value one, a down payer assistance, and new construction, right? So free home values we've seen a few times. Let's just go look at the new construction. And I'm going to, uh, um, now you could take this, and I'm going to show you where you can run an ad on it, but you could share this to any, any page you want any social media page if you want, or just put it online somewhere. But this guy is in Rockville. So if he's gonna need a property valuation plus in Rockville, because that's his number one place where he's building business, right? So all you do is you say property valuation plus, you spell out Rockville properly, and you click add landing page. Now, 
once you do this and you should if you're trying to build a listing inventory in multiple towns you should have one of these for every town this generic picture is not super helpful no notice his zillow reviews are on this page right you should put a picture of rockville in the background and just to sort of drive that in this is a really generic page that we bought like seven years ago if this doesn't look like your neighborhood you want to change it and i'm going to just show you you know i mentioned earlier that we set up offices i set up the offices around the country right and i was training Coldwell banker when we set them up in summit new jersey and they found that their number one home value page was the page that had the summit diner right this is a small town in new jersey of like i don't know a hundred it's like 20 to two uh, twenty four thousand people small town new jersey this is on main street if you know this diner you know summit new jersey and you want to think about that you want to think about that if you're going to take a page like this and ask somebody online can i have your address and can i have your contact information and you don't even know who i am well the first way to establish trust is to say hey i i know your area i live in your area right that's a really great way what what's going to make people know that you know there it's probably not the summit diner unless you live in summit new jersey but think like that when you create that page and there's another great thing about this page after you get the photo go over here to advanced options because there's a print marketing letter which actually looks like that nearby homeowner letter but again if you don't have listings in a neighborhood and you just want to talk about the neighborhood and say hey you know what um 50 homes sold in august in rockville last month and the high was here and that makes it 400 homes sold this year whatever by the way that affected your home value right this is a great letter giving that same kind of free service of get your instant home value and that's you know that's in the advanced options of the property valuation class pages so you can create unlimited landing pages and you might have your own sort of story right where maybe you focus on you want to create a custom landing page for buyers maybe you focus on waterfront property or horse properties or a golf course kind of you know properties if you've got a special niche that you want to talk about create a landing page and once you do once you create that landing page go over here to the ad section now i mentioned that you've got to go over here and connect it the first time but once you do you can create a listing ad a landing page ad and a pdf report ad. so remember we create i'm going to click on create a landing page ad. remember we just created a rockville property valuation plus there it is leave it on lead ads all the time because that's got pre-populated phone numbers and create an ad okay now when we do this let's cl click it and go just type in the location like rockville maryland right and publish it's that easy to create an ad now if he changed the photo it would have that photo in the background but that's how you do it uh what is the difference with those three we've only done one julie so let's take it one at a time okay we clicked on the landing page button i think that's the three you're talking about one is a landing page one is a listing ad and one is a pdf report ad. so we just clicked on the landing page so that we can create an ad on the landing page does that make sense now when we click on listings create a listing ad he's only got one listing in his account if he had multiple ones there would be they would all be in this drop down and he could say create an ad right and this time it already knows the town because it says rockville and we can then say publish right because it's saying rockville 15 mile radius there we go right and then um we we'll go back here so that's any listing even if you borrow a listing you can run an ad on it then there's pdf report ads and this is a really exciting place here uh there's a couple of things about this page you can see we have seller reports and we have buyer reports we have 25 of each um and 25 seller reports 25 buyer reports 
And you can download them here by clicking the white button so you can look at it. You'll notice that your contact information is on every page. Uh, you can go over here to settings and say, hey, I want to change it to Spanish or leave it in English. You can also change the color scheme, right? Maybe you're from a different company and you want this to look like your branding. So it's going to change that up for you, right? Um, but then whenever you're ready, 12 mistakes click, you know, to avoid in selling a home, click create an ad and it will create an ad just like this, right? Now I need to go back. Um, you'll want to type in the location. I need to go back because I forgot I'm actually in his account. And that's not nice that I just went and tweaked out his, his, uh, mm, 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 mm. save. Um, so can we customize the web address for the landing page? Um, Brandon, not yet, but I think in about a week or two, you'll be able to put your own, well, the, you'll be able to put your own URL in there in about a week or two. And then when you, right now, there is some way, you actually have five different URLs for your landing, for some of your tools, but not all of them. So Brandon, just sort of poke around in there. Um, because you can't endlessly customize things because if we gave that option to agents, they would break all of our stuff. So we're just not gonna be doing that. Um, Julie, how do you place these ads on Facebook groups? Well, Julie, you cannot run ads on all groups, right? You can really own a, run an ad if you own a group. Does that make sense? Like if you created a group, you can run an ad on it, yeah. So if I go here to ads and I go in settings, I can choose, if you've got multiple pages, you can choose what page you're gonna run an ad on, right? Multiple groups, right? Does that make sense? Um, but now if you're talking about groups in, in other areas, like, you know, there are free groups. Here, here's one, let, let me just take us to Facebook real quick. Uh, okay, so there's free groups in Facebook that are like buy and sell. Type in the word buy and sell wherever you are in the U United States. And you're going to see that all these people have been creating these like online garage sales. Now you can go there, join it, and then copy a link and just share it. But you can't run an ad there, right? So you can run ads on groups that are part of your Facebook profile. But if you want to just share the tool, which a lot of agents do, uh, then that's more of a post and that you can capture leads that way too, and they're free. So does everybody understand how to create an ad? Um, and, and let me know if there are any questions here, because if you don't recognize it, there is Facebook software. We have Facebook software behind this page. It's inside this page. And that's why we have boiled it down to just type in the location and click publish. If you try to create an ad inside of Facebook Ad Manager, there are three pages that you gotta know what to click and what to do this time and that time. And I can tell you, it's not, depending on what you're trying to do, it's not the same buttons that you click. But we can tell by what buttons you're clicking in our system like what we need to click for you. And that's why you can get a lot of leads with a lot of phone numbers because we know how to you know, code, we just coded it properly, right? So if you're gonna be in real estate, you should be running ads in Facebook, like bare minimum. And you should be running them right here because we're gonna save you a lot of headache and a lot of time and money because we've checked everything, we've, we've you know, if there's something wrong in Facebook, we've got thousands of clients all over the country. We know it much quicker than you know it, and we're going to fix it right away. Um, and so just, you know, go here to run ads. Now, I'm going to repeat myself. If you were here earlier, I was talking about a listing presentation, or I was talking about a presentation, and I was saying that you should be running two to three ads every week, right? And I would bare minimum say you need to want, create one listing ad, even for a borrowed listing, for minimally 20 bucks for four days. That's $5 a day. 
Buyer leads around the country can cost anywhere from 50 cents to $1.50, even more, maybe less. So if you're spending 20 bucks on an, on an ad, you're going to get 20 leads, plus or minus. If you're trying to get listing leads, listing leads often cost three to five dollars, even seven dollars. We've seen that, right? And you should try to be getting both. So if you're running one listing ad for something for sale, and then next week you run a listing ad on something sold, the sold ad is going to be looking for for homeowners for home values, stopping free home values. If you're running, uh, you know, PDF report ads for buyers or for sellers. You mix it up. So run one listing ad every week, run one PDF report ad every week, or run a landing page ad every week, right? And just get that mix out there. Every time you run an ad, two to 3,000 people see it, right? And what I mean by that is this guy has got his NAM real estate page, right? So if he runs an ad every twice a week and each ad is run, is being seen by, let's say, 5,000 people, there are four, not each ad, but every week, two ads. It'll be seen by about 5,000 people. So he's building his brand for NAM Real Estate. If he does that every week, that's 20,000 people are gonna to start to recognize this thing in Maryland, right? And every time he's gonna capture leads with it. So that's part of building your brand. I mean, you know, you could do that for two to 300 bucks a month consistently. How long are folks retargeted for? As long as the ad runs, Julie. So let me talk about retargeting because we didn't get into it. And this is usually something, and let me have a sip of coffee, that's really techy. Like retargeting is such a powerful part of Facebook. But you know, just to get an agent to successfully run an ad on Facebook is already a heavy lift. To tell a, an agent, oh, you should use retargeting, it's like not even worth it. It has not been worth it to us. But what we've done is we've taken the software and we built it so that you can now retarget with like practically no effort. So when you connect here on the Facebook page, there's going to be this little button, this little section here that says, hey, connect to retargeting, okay? Turn it on. So turn it on. And if it's telling you like, check this to accept it, then great. But then when you go to create an ad, you should create an ad and then turn on retargeting down here. And I'll explain. Down here is a little box, turn on retargeting. When you turn on retargeting inside of our system, it tells listings to leads, tells us to create a file in your ad manager on Facebook. And it's gonna be called L to L leads, all right? So all your leads that you capture are gonna be in this little file and you'll see it right here in this box and you can click on it so that everybody in Maryland, 15 miles of Maryland, of Rockville, are going to see this ad, including everybody who's in that file. So when you start working with us, you start capturing leads, every lead we capture from anything, even if you take it and you use a print flyer or you take something and put it on Craigslist or you just capture leads, if that lead is in our lead section over here, it's going to be added to that file. And when you use retargeting, your ads, your future ads are going to start going in front of those people. Now, this ad is lasting seven days. You can change it to four days. You can change it to three or seven or 20 or whatever. You can't go longer than 30. I don't recommend an ad longer than five days because they just stop working. But your retargeting lasts as long as that ad is running, okay? And then the next time you run an ad, you retarget again. You just keep staying in front of those people. This gets to converting, right? You can capture leads, but you don't get paid until they actually sign a contract and do business with you. And that's where conversion comes in. So retargeting is a very powerful way of doing that. One thing I forgot to mention, by the way, on your profile is a section that says CRM integration. This is another part of conversion connect your CRM here so that your leads go automatically into your CRM and you get a drip campaign going. Now, if you don't have a CRM, go over here to the follow-ups and join our beta because we're going to help you convert. We're going we're building our own follow-up plan. Uh, it should be live in a couple weeks and we're going to help you convert. We're doing that's that's really a big focus of us is like we know we can capture a lot of leads. Our clients are generating hundreds of leads every week. 
so we're we're now sort of focusing on what can we do to convert, right? So these are the main sections, right? Listings, landing pages, and Facebook ads. Um, obviously, you know, you need to learn how to use this. The mastermind group is a great resource. I recommend you get a, on a few of our classes. Um, for me, it's like drinking. Yeah, I know, Jeff, it's a lot here. Um, you got Aaron in your office? I don't know Aaron. Yeah, I kind of go fast here, but let me give you a, a pro tip. And this is for everybody. When you get in the mastermind group, and Jeff, um, when you get in the mastermind group, there's a magnifying glass down here, this little gray button. Go in here and type in these two words, recorded webinar. Because you'll find that every time that I do a webinar, I record it, and then we put it right here. So you can take your time and kind of find out what's going on. If you want more listings, watch the top tools to get more listings, right? Remember I mentioned that guy, Chris Winstead, who's like kind of killing it. Chris actually jumped on a call with me in July 19th. So if you want to hear what he's talking about, you can do that. Uh, if you want to hear, I think one of these, um, very recently, I really get into retargeting a little bit more. Um, but there's a lot to learn here. I think you don't have to watch all of our webinars, obviously. I think if you watch like three or four or five, you're going to get it. You're going to just, you're, you're going to know what we're doing. Okay. And that's what you want. You, you want to be able to master this system. I'm going to go over, I'm going to go over to my, to my email and, and I'm going to show you something. So there's one guy named Dustin Fox and uh, Dustin, I actually showed it to you in, in, inside the presentation at the beginning of the call. Let's see if I can pull this up real quick. So Dustin, um, when I rolled out their office, there was 300 agents and they're actually in Maryland too. They're just south of DC. And you, you can imagine that I, I train our offices just like I'm doing right now, but, but I don't talk to every agent, right? And I just trained the whole group. Well, this guy, when I rolled out their office, he was a new agent. He had been an agent for two years and he learned about our system and he said, hey, um, I went from 5 million in production to 20 million in two years. And he says, 80% of my business is coming from your system and I put in two hours a week to working in listings to leads. This is the call. I, I kind of think that I'm going to give it to you right now in the little chat panel. You might want to watch it. I think the first 15 minutes is good. Scott and, and Dustin kind of wander all over the place and it's not really focused, but but he actually does have some, I just sent that to everybody. He actually does have some really insightful stuff about Facebook ads that I do think you could learn from. But, you know, he would take his daughter to, to ballet. She would dance for two hours. He'd go to Starbucks for two hours and he'd work on his laptop and listings to leads. And that's how this guy went from five to 20 million in two years, right? Um, a lot of our clients are finding out if you go inside there, um, Jill, if you want to sign up for the beta on follow-up, you go to follow-ups and you click that button that says join beta. That's how you do it. Does that make sense? Follow-ups, join follow-ups beta. Uh, yeah. Uh, the, and, and so I realize what I'm trying to say is take some time to learn our system. I know how realtors are. I know that you guys like to sign up for things and then you forget that you're even paying for them. You can do that with us. We, we've got hundreds of people doing that with our system. But if, you know, and that just means you give us 40 bucks a month, right? And we appreciate that. But if you want to grow your business, use our tools consistently. They they work. Um, and we're much happier when our clients are in our mastermind group saying, oh my God, you know, I just use this and I got a bunch of leads. And, you know, it's, you know, there are people talking about it every day. So one um oh god yeah okay yeah one um there are you know let me let me answer this question julie's asking can i speak about bots yeah 
here's something about me, just so you know. You'll hear Scott talk and you'll hear me talk. And what you should know is my name is Vince. And, and, and if, I t if I don't talk about something, it's because my clients aren't jumping up and down and telling me about it. And that's what bots are like. Bots are really cool and they're techie and they, they really seem like you're just banging your head to set it up and they're not moving the needle. You'll, you'll notice, Julie, that I've mentioned a lot of things that our clients are very excited about. Uh, and they get excited because it's helping them grow their business. Nobody is telling me about that about bots. So if you want to learn about bots, I recommend you go to the support page or you go to tutorials and just type in the word bots and you will learn plenty. Um, I talked about a lot of things here and it would be best for us if I was more repetitive so that you knew that the things that I have talked about, you absolutely need to use, right? Another great thing that I didn't mention um, is text IVR. Text IVR is a it's an addition, right? You can for, you get ten extensions for ten bucks a month. You keep the extensions, and these are you can make a sign writer like, hey, dial this number, touch this, text this code to this code. You can even get a QR code, right? There are QR codes inside the system that you can put on your sign writer, and and you know with COVID and I, you know, everybody's snapping menus on QR codes. You know, I'm hearing more about that lately, but the text IVR is definitely helpful. Also, when we do auto posting uh, or when we run an ad, we put the codes in there, right? And that's going to help you if you want to get leads, more leads with phone numbers, because when somebody texts, you're getting the phone number right away. So I definitely recommend text IVR. Um, if you haven't, if you, you know, haven't used that. And as a reminder, those, if you're printing sign writers, you can, you get to keep those. So all these things that I've shown you are all 40 bucks a month, right? Except for the text codes, that's an additional 10 bucks. But everything I've shown you is 40 bucks. When you, when you run an ad, well, you have gotta pay for the ad, but that's charging your credit card on your Facebook account, okay? Um, there's a lot here for $40 a month. I mean, you know, just a home valuation page, like a page like this, or get your free home value is 60 bucks a month from our closest competitor. There's obviously a lot more than one landing page that you're getting for 40 bucks a month. So take the time, figure out what you've got, use what you've got, use it consistently. Um, What's the size of uh, the photos? I think if, you know, on a background like this, I think something like eight, 1800 pixels wide in a landscape format, not a portrait, will work, right? Um, that's that's kind of what I use, 18, 1900. Um, and if you're taking photos with your smartphone, it, it shoots them a lot bigger than that. So you can kind of, you know, chop it down or whatever. Uh, as a reminder, this print flyer for nearby homeowners is the number one tool for getting listings, the listing landing page, get the uh, social media auto posting turned on. Um, you can share it to all kinds of groups. It looks like this, but when you do it automatically, it's just a lot smarter. Um, and then what else, what else, what else, what else? Bots, landing page, follow-ups, library. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of it. Um, you belong to more than one MLS. Um, I would check, Julie, do you have listings in two MLSs right now? Um, I would go to the support page if you do and just say, okay, we, we might not be able to see you unless you have an active listing in the MLS, but you could just tell support like, hey, I'm in this MLS and that, could you connect them both? And sometimes they can see you. We can't see it all the time. Sometimes we can, um, but we can. The, the short answer is we can work with two MLS, two MLSs in one profile. Um, and also, I'll just say this on the profile: some of you are in teams, and sometimes if you're a small team, like like one or two people or three people, you can just put the team name and choose this box, so it'll replace your name with the team name. If you're in a team like you know five or ten people. You should email me, Vince at Listings to Leads, and we'll get a, a discounted team account set up for you. 
right? That way, every agent has their own separate login. They can use their own tools. And, and a lot of teams, you know, if you're a team with like one listing agent and three or four buyer agents, well, the listing agent can get listings in their account, but then the buyer's agents can also pull those same listings in their account and all go out and be marketing and capturing more buyers and more sellers using all the tools that I just shown you. So it's smart to have team accounts in certain cases, right? Where, where multiple people, it's like having multiple fishing poles in the, in the water. Um, that is my story, guys, that is my story. The last thing is the support team is here. The best way to get answers is type your question right here in this box. Tell them you want to add you to the mastermind group, right? Uh, tell them you want to connect to your CR. If you have active listings and they're not in your account, tell the support team right here. And they'll just go get it and put it together. Um, yeah, that's about it, guys. Uh, I, are there any other questions? I appreciate all the questions that you've given me so far. Um, one that didn't get asked is it is a $40 a month fee. It's also month to month, so you can cancel any time on your profile. Uh, but there's a lot of tools here. Um, but honestly, you shouldn't be canceling. You should be using our stuff. Oh, one thing I'm going to mention, it's because it's brand new. And it has to do with listings. Okay. So I'm going to go to ads. And this is really important. If you want sellers, now you could do this with a sole listing, but I'm just going to do a PDF report ad for sellers. I'll do 12 to 6 to avoid. Um, and click on advanced options. So if, if you're looking for sellers, click on advanced options and click create new form. And here's an important thing. You see this, we always ask for the name, phone number and email, but there's a drop down here that says form questions and there's some other questions that you can ask. And what I would recommend is that you turn on, if you're looking for home owners who wanna sell, that you turn on this button here that says, what is your time frame to sell? Just turn it on. And if you didn't notice, it added this little dropdown, which the dropdown is like one to three months, uh, I think three to six months, and then six months and longer, something like that, right? This is a way for you to understand like who needs help right now for listing. This is really cool. Um, yeah, Larry, Larry, what I said is if you want to, see our recordings, get in our mastermind group, ask the support team to get in the mastermind group. Once you get in, find this button here with the magnifying glass and type in the words recorded webinar and you will see all our recorded webinars. This call is being recorded and this webinar will be in there in just a couple hours. Usually takes us two to three hours depending on how busy it is. Um, yeah. Well, everybody, it's been an hour. Um, are there any other questions? How do I share this with other agents for referral? Uh, you can go to your profile and on your profile, it says, hey, earn 15% recurring, become a partner. And you click here and you set up an affiliate link and we're gonna need your PayPal email address and once you put that in there, we're going to, and you click save, it's going to flip around and give you a page that you can give to your, your agents and say, hey, go sign up there. You get like a 21 day free trial, all the same tools, all this great stuff, and you get 15% recurring. Does that make sense, Julie? Uh, okay. Okay. Well, um, any other questions? Get in the mastermind group, people. Um, use our platform. It will. It, it, it helps everybody. You want buyers. You want sellers. You have listings. You don't have listings. We're still going to help you get buyers and sellers. Um, there's a lot that we can do. So thanks for joining me today. Keep safe. Um, thank you, Jeff. Take care, everybody. This call will be. What is the problem here? Um, where can I get the recordings? Oh my God, Prabhji. Oh, <laughs> Prabhji, we've been showing your, your, your account all day today. Uh, go to the mastermind group, Prabhji, and uh, then type in recorded webinar on the magnifying glass right here. So the mastermind group looks like this. Ask support to get in there. 
go here and type in recorded webinar and it will be showing you you know all the recorded webinars okay all right everybody uh thanks a lot take it easy talk to you soon bye-bye